back to the phone lines. We'll talk to Edward. He's listening in Seattle, Washington on KCIS. Hi, Edward. Oh, hi, Hank. Um, thanks for taking my call. Um, I had a question about the passage in um, Philippians 3.8 uh, where Paul talks about that um, I've counted all uh, as lost, but he, in the original Greek or Hebrew, he uses a rather strong word there. And then I just have some buddies that are basically using that passage to back up use of vulgar language. Uh, I would just uh, see what you thought about um, maybe how I can answer them um, in terms of that. Yeah, well, this is one of the most beautiful passages in the whole of Scripture where Paul says, whatever was to my profit, I now consider loss. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. And then he says, I consider them rubbish. So in other words, by comparison with Jesus Christ, all else is garbage. All else is trash. All else is dung. So this is not using uh, bad language. This is simply making a very poignant and powerful comparison in such a way that the graphic language is embedded in your mind. Everything compared to Christ is but garbage. This is the point that Paul is trying to make, and he's making it from the perspective of having been an esteemed Pharisee. He was taught under the famed Gamaliel. He had all the pomp and all the circumstance given to him in Jewish society, even being a Roman citizen, by the way. And so he had everything. And he gave it all up because he encountered Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus. And so now he is able to say from experience, I had it all. Anything that this world could offer was mine, but I found that it was garbage compared to the glory, the grace, and the goodness of my Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, I as my friend told me, he says that he uses the word scubula, that if you translate it, like, literally, it's the S word. And so I was like, oh, if Paul used the S word, then then it's okay to use, like, that also. So, like... Um, well, not really. I mean, uh, words are, are contextualized by their context, and he is right in some sense. Uh, I'm glad you just designated the S word, but yeah, I mean, he's talking about dung. It is like dung, and, and he's being very graphic in his, in his description, thinking about the thing that would be most distasteful uh, to an, uh, an individual, and by comparison, that which would be most wonderful and pleasurable. Uh, so he's making the contrast between two polar opposites. 